So these are the three most important reasons why most dropshipping stores fail. So the first reason is it's what I would like to call unrealistic expectations. Okay, because there's a lot of misinformation you know, around the internet about dropshipping, and people tend to not, you know, be able to assess what is practical and what is just fictional. What people say just to get you to buy their courses and to do whatever they want you to do, right? And typically, the reality, reality, and 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 what whatever they say on their books and in theory. I know this are not one and the same thing. And if you go in and you start a dropshipping store and you have these unrealistic expectations, the challenge is you know you, you're not gonna be able to understand why is it not working and you're gonna feel like you know what, maybe I'm doing something wrong or maybe you know uh, <clears throat> I'm the problem, not understanding that maybe you know the the systems and the ideas and the product you're selling is where the problem is okay uh, so that's that's the biggest reason why most dropshipping stores fail and one of the biggest unrealistic unrealistic or unrealistic expectations i have seen it has to do with how much money you will make because people start dropshipping stores to make money okay they want to become rich overnight okay and that's i think for me that's the biggest obstacle that makes most dropshipping stores fail is people want to make a lot of money as quick as possible, as much as possible. And that's not how it works it, in any business. It doesn't have to be dropshipping in any business. It takes a while to get to hit profit. It takes a while to, to start making money, right? And you also have to know that you're going to have to deal with a lot of challenges, a lot of problems. You know, you're going to have to work a lot of crazy hours before you hit that place where you can comfortably say you are making good money with dropshipping. And because of that, because of that, you know, the, the challenge you have is people are not willing to, or, or I'm not, I don't think that's correct. People are not prepared, are not prepared to deal with the challenges. Okay, they want to make money as quick as possible, as easy as possible. And they look at dropshipping as a get-rich-quick scheme. And they say, this is how I'm going to make a lot of money as quick as possible. And the people who are selling courses and trying to make money off you, they, they, they are telling you what you want to hear. They'll tell you, it's easy, guys. I made boom, boom, amount of money in, in two hours, in three days. It was so easy. Just do boom, boom, boom. It's all going to happen. And that's not how it works in reality, guys. And this... It makes you have unrealistic expectations and you find yourself in a place where you know you are frustrated you're not making money because you did not expect to put in the amount of work that's required the amount of time and 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 be able to deal with all that you have to deal with right and that's the number one reason why most dropshipping stores fail okay because nothing is an overnight success guys nothing is an overnight success okay it, it, it takes it takes time to get where you need to go okay and the second and the second reason guys why dropshipping fail is people are not persistent and i think it's also linked to this also because like we say that people expect to make money overnight and if that does not happen with the first try and the second try and the third try then they give up and they say the whole thing doesn't work and the thing for me that's that's one of the biggest reasons why dropshipping stores fail is because people are not persistent people are not willing to to figure out things and fail and learn and improve and grow gradually right they want things that do work first time and that's not how it works guys it never works that way guys i know with all my drop shipping stores i have started it has never been a smooth ride it has always been a bumpy ride but the key is have realistic have realistic expectations the second key is be persistent okay push through it and every time you don't do well it means you did something wrong and you just have to be patient enough to stick around and to figure out what are you doing wrong and fix it okay and the first fix may not always work the second fix may not always work the third fix may not always work but when you stick with it long enough you will you will eventually figure it out and say oh this is where i was going wrong and if i fix it this is how i'm able to get my business to make some money okay so that's the second reason that is why guys if we are to summarize these two things for me anyway 
what I would advise you to do is that you need to <clears throat> to not be driven by money. Okay, you don't want to start a dropshipping store based on money. Okay, you wanna you wanna build a, a store based on passion. Why is that important? Because when you have passion, two things happen. Number one, you have realistic expectations. Number two, you have um, number two, you have you, you become persistent okay if you look at all the people who are doing well the key to it is they stuck with it for a very long time when it was not working they kept tricking it they kept working on it because they loved it they had passion now the the thing that makes people fail is they are driven by money they say i want to make as much money as possible and that's why i'm going to start a drop shipping store and this is this is this is not the right reason to start any business it doesn't have to be drop shipping any other business that's not the right reason guys because if you just do it for money you start cutting corners you start you know uh, making uh, making a lot of bad decisions because you're looking for quick results okay because the ultimate thing that's important in business guys is taking very good care of your customers better than anybody else that's the ultimate uh, thing that makes you stay starts uh, have a successful business and stay in and, and remain successful it's you know making ensuring that you understand your customers needs and, and and wants and you serve them better than anybody else and that takes passion to do that guys you need to stick around long enough to figure these things out all right and to to build systems and processes to deliver these things better than anybody else all right and if you just care about money you're not gonna be able to stick long enough you're not gonna be able to have realistic expectations and say you know what i'm gonna spend two three years without making money while i'm i'm busy learning the market building the business building the products trying to understand what people want what people care about and over time once i figured all those things out then the money will come that's that's the right mindset you need to have when you start a drop shipping business okay but the but the, the sad thing is there's a lot of people who want to make a lot of money from you and they will tell you what you want to hear even though they themselves know that that doesn't work long term it doesn't even work short term uh, short term right it only hurts you and hurts your customers in the long run okay and the last thing guys that that uh, the last reason why most dropshipping stores fail guys is it's a bad market research okay it still comes back to this guys the sad thing is it comes back to that one important point that it has to do with passion because if if you are told that you know what you can do a quick market research just use uh, let's say uh, you know figure out what people are buying and then you sell the same thing right that will work short term but that's a bad strategy long term okay and and a business is like when you build a business it's like you're building a house right when you build a house you start with the foundation and then you build everything else on the foundation now if your house is sitting on the wrong foundation where there was bad market research that went into it you're selling a product that you know you just wanted to make quick money from it right you did not really care about you know the why people are buying it and why is it trending today but it's not going to be trending tomorrow you know already your foundation is wrong and that means the only way you'd fix that business is you have to you have to destroy the whole business and start afresh okay so that's the other reason it's bad market research okay because remember guys that if you sell a product that nobody else is selling okay this gives you immense ability to make a lot of profit from that pro from that product because nobody else is selling it that means now you can price it at any price and it's still right where versus when you sell the product that other people are selling they determine what the price ought to be because your client will say i'm buying it from you at this amount but your competitor is selling it less so that means i'm going to your competitor right but if you create your own market from scratch right you build your own markets that means you're gonna make a crazy amounts of money because you're gonna price this thing at 10 20 30 times the price you're buying it for right because nobody else is selling it nobody has positioned it the way you've positioned it okay i hope it makes sense guys ultimately guys it comes back to that one word 
passion you gotta be passionate about what about what you're selling okay and you gotta have realistic expectations and give yourself time <clears throat> okay and be persistent okay and don't expect overnight success right build it build it properly build it slow in a way that when when you have built it there's a deep connection between you and your customers and they will they will buy from you and buy more than once from you they will buy multiple times from you because you offer amazing service even though you can price your product at as high as you want because now you're doing this out of passion, not out of making money quickly. I hope it makes sense, but this is the reasons why most dropshipping stores fail. Thank you very much. And hopefully we'll talk in the next video.